coming inside the home. You can see the coins, those were built out with styrofoam and then stuck out over the top. You've got the front door. And then you enter into the living room. It has a window facing south and a window facing east. The front door faces east. Here's the kitchen. We did vaulted ceilings in the kitchen, living room, and dining room. Uh, we've got custom cabinets, granite countertops, a backsplash, stainless steel appliances. And then here's the dining room. The floors are polished concrete with a polyurethane coating. Uh, we did saw cuts two feet on center and then filled them with grout and I think it turned out nice. It gives a good look. All of the electrical that we did that's inside the walls, we had to run conduits and junction boxes before putting the concrete on and then we could pull the wires after the fact. There were one or two spots where we did have to put wires in afterward and in those cases we had to chip out some of the concrete with a handheld jackhammer and then run the conduits after. You can see the vaulted ceilings here and then the rest of the house has flat ceilings. Our exterior walls from the finished floor inside the house are about eight and a half feet tall. And this is our utility closet. We've got a 90, I think it's about a 96% of finish efficient furnace and air conditioner. We went with electric on the water heater so that we did not have to run a vent pipe because the furnace has its own venting. And also if we end up going solar, we could have that heat provided by the solar panels. This is the coat closet right here, a couple feet wide. We've got a programmable thermostat for the heating and cooling. And then in the bathroom, we've got a nice uh, tub with tile, surround, and a shower. The toilet, the sink has the custom cabinetry, granite countertops. Moving on down the hall, this is the laundry. We've got the floor recessed with a drain in it so that if there were a leak from the washing machine, it would have a place to go without flooding the house. We've got the dryer and the excess paint there. We continue down the hallway to the master bedroom. It's a nice large bedroom. We've got a ceiling fan in here, a window facing south and a window facing west. And then you come around here to the master closet. It's got a higher and a lower closet rod as well as some built-in shelving. Then we come back around to the master bathroom. We've got matching cabinets and countertops to the other bathroom. Nice size mirror, the toilet, and then a step-in shower that goes full height. This one also has a window to let in a little bit of light in this room. On the exterior walls, the concrete finish was somewhat rough. That's kind of the nature of cutting shotcrete. We had it filled with I believe the product is called Structolite, and then uh, plastered over to have a wholly smooth finish, and the finish was made to match the interior walls. Interior walls in here are wood stud framing with drywall over the surface. This is one of the two additional bedrooms. It has a small closet at the back. And the final bedroom is right here. The windows face north on these bedrooms. One of the things I ran into where some of the walls are drywall and some of the walls are the skip panels. Right here you can see I have a one, about a three quarter inch or one inch lip in the wall. The framing was done flush with the concrete walls. And then when the drywall was added to it, plus the mud bead, it left a step in the wall. 
Had I planned the framing a little better, we could have had the framing recessed so that the drywall would sit flush with the concrete walls. We also ran into that here in the living room. Uh, you can see where the step is in this wall. Uh, the framing was once again done flush to the concrete and then the drywall stood proud of that. Had we set the framing back a little bit, it could have had a smooth wall with no step in it. Uh, on future projects, I'll be cognizant of that and I will try to uh, account for it and keep that from happening. On the panels, the particular panel system with the four inch foam gives you an R28 rating on your wall insulation value. Uh, because they're made of concrete, they're, all, they're also very durable. For the plumbing inside the home, I don't like doing plumbing on exterior walls. So any pipes that we ran were ran below the floor and then we would just stub them up where they could enter in through the cabinet and uh, arrive at the destination that they needed to be at. You can run the pipes through the exterior walls, but I like to avoid the danger of having the pipes freeze, so keeping them farther from the exterior walls is preferred. On the spigots, we just used a one inch bit on a hammer drill and drilled through the exterior walls so that we could put the spigot in on the outside of the house. There's one inside the cabinet here that goes to the front yard. I'll walk around and show you the spigot on the front and that was just drilled in after the concrete was in place. So here's the front spigot where we just brought it through the wall. One of the other details in the house, we have these blank cover plates. They're for data. I have a conduit that goes from the lower one to the upper one, and then it goes up into the attic above the level of the insulation and is anchored to the roof trusses. All of the bedrooms and the living room have either a low one here in the smaller bedrooms or a low and an upper in the master bedrooms and in the living room so that you can run any type of data cable later by having that conduit in place and you don't have to try to find a way to drill through the walls or run it on the surface where it would be visible. That concludes the video for this house. This home was built at 3237 Grant Avenue in Ogden. It was the first project I did with the structural concrete insulated panels. I got them from Innovated Structural Solutions in Morgan, Utah. The panels were nice and easy to use. Um, I was not working full time on the project, so it took me a little bit longer to put them together. But in the end, I'm really pleased with the product I got. I think it's a high quality product and I look forward to doing another project with the same system.